Hello, so I'm Megan, and today I'm going to be talking about the geology of Bergen County, New Jersey, and a little bit of Passaic County, New Jersey as well. So this right here is a generalized map of kind of my county. So all of that purple actually represents glacial till. Um, the red represents glacial meltwater deposits, and the yellow represents post-glacial deposits by rivers. Um, so a lot of the rivers in my area were actually formed by similar glaciation processes which form the Hudson River. And so that's why you find that there's a lot of this red glacial meltwater deposit kind of along the river banks is because the rivers were originally formed by erosion. Um, and so this area right here is kind of where I live and the river up here is actually the Saddle River. Um, so the light blue, by the way, is actually um, late Triassic, early Jurassic rock, but the majority of it is covered up by glacial till deposits. And so a lot of my town, it kind of has that glacial meltwater deposit. There's a little bit of exposed bedrock kind of in this section of my town, but otherwise the majority of it is glacial. And that's why if I look at the soil in my area, a lot of times it has a lot of different kinds of rock. Um, and that's because glaciers kind of pick up a lot of stuff as they kind of go along and that causes um, there to be a lot of different types of rock that they can kind of leave behind. Um, so I don't just have like one specific kind of rock that makes up my soil. Usually it's a lot of like um, a lot of like quartz, a lot of um, kind of nice, things like that. So I kind of went over a lot of this, but yeah. <laughs> So here is a little bit more in the stratigraphy of the Mesozoic rocks that are in my area. So as we'd mentioned before in class, I actually live right on top of the half graben that had been formed by rifting to form the Atlantic Ocean caused by Pangaea separating. Um, that's the Newark Basin. And so we have two main formations in my area. There's the Passaic Formation, which is actually exposed at certain places, and the Lakatong Formation, which is Triassic, it's older. And so as a result of that, it's usually found a lot deeper. So it's not exposed in my area, but if you go further south in New Jersey, you can actually find it um, kind of exposed in certain parts. So in the Passaic Formation, which is the exposed type, there are two main types of rock that you can find. Um, the first one is the one that you can find the most, and that's all that light blue on the map, and that's the interbedded sequence of reddish-brown to maroon, white to buff, medium to coarse-grained, arcusic to feldspathic sandstone, and coarse-grained, arcusic, pebbly sandstone. But you can also, in certain places, kind of in the southeast, you can find fine to medium-grained sandstone to shelly siltstone, and there's about 11,000 feet of Mesozoic bedrock in my area. So here are some images that were taken um, that I kind of took from a paper that I was looking at to get some of my information. So this is one of um, this is one of the sections that was actually taken from Hohokus, and it actually shows some um, some better sorted sandstone that has some some clasts, um, particular at the base. And then here, I actually think that this might be acoustic sandstone, and it was taken um, also from that same kind of site. Um, and then here is actually some bedrock exposure from Hillsdale by Demers Farms. Um, I've seen this many, many times. I drive past it quite frequently. Um, and so um, it's kind of hard to actually get pictures that are good of rocks in the springtime because all the trees regain their leaves. But in the wintertime, you can see all of this fully exposed and it's really cool because it's late Triassic to Jurassic in age. So I'm looking at Mesozoic rocks. Um, I also wanted to dedicate a section of my presentation to talk about a story which I thought was really cool. So this right here is a phytosaur. You can find it at the Museum of Natural History, and it was collected by some um, Columbia students. Um, and so Fort Lee is actually the city that's right across the Hudson River. So when you look at the Hudson River, um, if you look across that city there, that's Fort Lee. So this is a quote from Edwin Colbert, who was the curator of the Museum of Natural History for like 40 years. And it's a really, really angry quote. Um, he's basically saying that like, I can't believe that they decided that they were gonna get rid of this amazing Triassic site that's right across the river from the Museum of Natural History in order to build a mall on top of it. Um, and that actually happened. So um, you could find a lot of really cool Triassic critters um, from this old quarry and it got closed down to build a mall on top of it. And it had a lot of that um, Lakatong rock exposed. So I thought that, that would be really cool to mention for my presentation as well. So thank you for listening.